Hello, YouTube. I'm David with the David West Channel. You hear that noise across the street? Let's go see what it is. What is that noisemaker over there? That must be a carpet cleaning truck or something. We'll carry on in this old noisy neighborhood. I guess it could be a contracting service that uh, cleans out duct work also. Today I want to make a video about using coal extenders. I'm always harping on coal extenders um, because they're great about catching a weak ignition and maintaining that resulting ember for basically as long as you want until you get ready to aerate it back into a great big hot coal and use it to ignite your tender. The reason I say you can maintain an ember for as long as you want to is because you just have to keep adding coal extender to it if it burns up. All of those Oak Catkins experiments and uh, videos that I made last year, well, they're just now starting to fall. So let's use this handful and once again show you the beauty of coal extenders, the beauty of oak catkins for coal extenders. Now I wouldn't say these catch a weak spark readily, but once you get them hot enough, it's going to maintain that. I always wear shades when doing solar experiments. Always carry a wallet for nail lens. You can buy these on Amazon all day long for, I think a three pack is like six or seven dollars, and then there's six or seven dollars shipping. All right, you'll want to compact this in your hand. Just as tight as you can get them. Put these ridges towards the sun. And go for it. You want to give it a minute or two to build up a big enough ember to where when you start blowing on it, it will increase in size. Don't take shortcuts here. Take as much time as you need to to develop a good, strong, deep ember. I'll tell you what, in the next couple of weeks, these oak catkins will be all over the driveway and in places they'll be like ankle deep. We really had a lot last year. This is a great coal extender, readily available this time of the year. And you need to be out there practicing with coal extenders in general. Your punk woods, your plant pits, ash tender. I encourage you to go check out my ash tender playlist. That's how you can make your own coal extender without having to find 
necessarily the natural coal extenders. Bracket fungus is another coal extender. But you can imagine, as long as I have a ready supply of oak catkins, I could stand here all day long and maintain this ember. Some people don't see the need for that. But we took a relatively weak ignition source, just that small focal point from a solar ignition, and now we can relax. We can go for the flames on these leaves at any time that we want and it's gonna be more sure than like maybe if you put an ember in there or maybe if you tried to solar ignite the leaves directly. You get the point. I'm right in the middle of a video, so I'll wait for you to pass by. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's all right. All right, here's some leaves that I just pulled right off of the ground. So they have a little bit of moisture in them, but this ember is so intense that a little bit of moisture is not gonna make a bit of difference. All right, y'all. Do me a favor, before leaving my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.